Hello everyone, following on from Sunday's video for Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More where we were doing the postcards for the swap, um, I said that if you wanted to do a tag as an alternative then you could do and I promised that I would try and share a video giving some ideas this week. Um, so here it is, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas now. These are the tags that um, I cut on Sunday, the postcards that um, I was doing were six inches by four inches and I cut Cut the tags to a similar size um, these are six inches by three and a half inches which I think is a good size for a tag so that's what I'm going to be using today and I am going to be using these focal images here um, and I'll show you where I've got these from they're from this mixed media pad here this is the Dana Rowney mixed media pad um, and there they are. I've had these cut out for quite a while thinking, you know, how am I going to incorporate these? How can I use them? And an idea has sprung to mind. Um, so I'm going to do a technique today called bokeh, B-O-K-E-H, um, which some of you might not have heard of. It's very easy, um, but really effective. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me just have um, a tidy up and I'll show you how I'm going to create the background. I'm going to be using Distress Oxides for my backgrounds today I'm going to start off by using this image here and you can see that I've inked around the edges of one of the images and I just wanted to show you the difference that just frames it by inking around the edges it frames it brings it into focus and I just think it looks so much nicer and I've pulled out three colors of distress oxides that I want to use for my background faded jeans because I've got some sort of inky blue in the background peeled paint which I think goes really nicely and and antique linen so those are the three colors of distress oxides that I'm going to be using and as I say I want to use a technique called bokeh um, and for bokeh you will either need um, some kind of circle stencil or um, you'll need to stamp some circles into a piece of cardstock um, so I'm just going to do that now in fact let's just do this like so so I've got three different size punches here um, I've got this size and this size as well and I'm just going to punch some circles trying not to overthink how I'm doing this it really really you know you don't have to in fact I could do with that being a bit smaller never mind that will do let's have a look there we go that's fine I can have that one there and perhaps we can punch another circle there like like that and so I'm going to use that to stamp with let me just put those circles over over there because I might be able to use those for something else so that's my stencil um, already prepared and so what I want to do is use um, my distress oxides to decorate my background so here we go I've got my gloves on um, which are far too big but um, there we go if it stops me getting ink all over my uh, over my fingers then that's fine and I'm just going to put some ink down down onto my onto my tag and I'm just going to keep going over this trying to blend my colors the blending won't happen straight away it looks a bit messy to start off with but you know that's okay um, I've got a separate sponge for each of the colors here so I'm starting off with that blue um, then I'm adding some of this I think it's peeled is it peeled paint so I've got peeled paint antique linen and faded faded jeans And then we'll add some of that antique um, linen and I just want to keep going over this trying to blend these three colours together.
before I start adding my circles, I just want to go over this with some lip balm. Um, it's similar to the Distress Glaze. I just want to try it with lip balm and see if that works in the same way. Um, and this will just seal in those inks. So I'm just using Lip Balm by Dainty Doll. I use this um, to seal around the edges of my glues just to stop the rims sticking together and I thought mm, I haven't got any Vaseline um, to hand so I thought let's try this and see if it does the same kind of job as the Distress Glaze. Um, so I am just going to rub over that um, and I'm just hoping that this will just seal in um, those Distress inks and stop them moving around too much ready for the next layer. So we've got some ink coming up um, there, I've got one of my gloves there. But I think this will do the same kind of um, job as the Distress Glaze. And let's try it again. And you've just got to buff it, buff it off. But that's, look, that's doing pretty good um, of a job of, um, of sealing it, I think. So there we go. I think that that will be, Vaseline would be a good alternative. Yep, that's working. Right, okie dokie. So in for the bouquet technique, so I've got my circle stamp and I've got some stays on ink here in white, um, cotton white and a stamp pad, here we go, a, a makeup sponge, sorry. And what I want to do, let me just move all of this out of the way and clear myself some space. I want to just ink up my makeup sponge with some of this white stays on ink and I'm going to put my Let's have a look. My stencil down like like that and I'm just going to go over my background. Here we are. And then I'm going to lift that up and then I'm going to move it somewhere somewhere else. So I'm now going to go over it like, like that and I'm just going to keep stamping and moving this makeshift stencil and creating the interest in my background like, like this. And as I say, you could use a stencil for this if you've, if you've got one. The stencils I've got, um, the circles are not far enough apart for what I wanted, hence I've, I've cut my own. background looks like for my tag and I've mounted it onto uh, two pieces of cardstock as well so you can see that is really nice and sturdy and I just want to ink around the edges just to frame my tag so again I'm just going to use the Ranger archival ink just to to do that I'm going to keep this tag really simple and I think I'm just going to pop my image um, something like that so I'm going to glue that on with a glue stick I've glued that on and then just to finish um, things off I've just chosen some words from which one's this the small talk Tim Holtz um, small talk and I am just going to pop on here we are fearless I'm just going to pop these down like this independent and original and then I can play around with placement um, in a in a second see possibility everywhere so I just need to make sure that I've got that sort of lined up as I want it and then I'm just going to punch a hole and sort out some um, fibres. So I'm just going to finish this off I've glued the quote down and I'm just going to finish this off with my cropper dial so I'm just going to punch a hole there we go like like that and then I've just got one of these little brass eyelets which I'm going to add so let's squeeze that down there we go
flatten that down there we go and then I just need to add some fibres. So I've just got a piece of black ribbon here, Hotel Collection, I think it's from um, a box of chocolates. And I just want to see what this looks like. I think only one is going to fit through this um, eyelet. So let's have a look and see how that looks. There we go. And I think that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to trim that. Let's... And that's my, my tag. I might paint the back black because it's got um, a bit grubby. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just going to play around with this bouquet technique in other colours to match the other backgrounds, that um, the other focal images I've got. So here we go. So I've got these ones, these ones here. Um, so I'm just going to do some, some more. So I've just carried on um, with the bouquet technique. Um, that was the first one I did. I just love that. And um, again, I've just chosen colours that um, tie in with the focal images. So for this one here, I've used blue and some of the um, red. Let life surprise you. Today is full of possibilities. Make it count. I've got this one here and I've used greens and yellows and a bit of uh, brick red as well believe in yourself today is full of possibilities and then finally again I've um, used red and yellow on this one here and a bit of green live create tell the story life was meant for great adventure now I've stamped um, another sheet of this blue and green one here um, and this time I just want to have a go at mounting it onto um, a piece of craft paper I've glued two pieces of craft cardstock together just again to give it some stability um, I've got some some more black um, ribbon I've had to use a different type of ribbon because I ran out of the chocolate box one um, but I've cut my square out and I just want to layer this this time like this and then I've stamped using a text stamp over um, a piece of craft paper it's not sort of taken all the way but that's fine it really doesn't matter um, and I think I am just going to layer that one up like that so I'm just going to go away and glue that and down the finished tag on cardstock I really like that now you can see that um, I've glued everything down off center just because I think it looks more interesting that way and I've popped the quote up on some glue dots as, as well some foam pads just to give it a bit of dimension so that's how that looks and that's how it compares with with that one there I don't know which one I prefer I just really like both of those and I'm pleased that I found a way to use these images from that mix uh, Dale Rowney mixed media paper pad as well that's the other ones so really really happy with those um, I love the bouquet technique and it's something that I've been wanting to try for a while and I will definitely be trying again I wouldn't recommend these stays on opaque white though it dries up really quickly and I've kept having to add re-inker to this. In fact, my re-inker has, you know, all gone now. So if anybody can recommend a better white stamp pad, then please can you let me know in the in the comments section below. Um, sign up has now closed for the swap and all the partners have been assigned. So if you haven't checked out to see who your partner is, um, you'll find it underneath the group banner in the Facebook group, Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. Um, uh, underneath the group banner, um, that there are some announcements it's just before the main discussion starts and that's where you will find the PDF files um, showing all the swap partners there are two there's one in group order and one in alphabetical order and um, so group order is one and one two and two three and three four and four and so on and so on so you know nice and easy to follow so if you haven't been in contact with your swap partner yet, can you please do so as soon as possible just to get to know them and obviously swap addresses. The swaps need to go out by the 8th of June. So I hope that this has given you some ideas if you are planning on doing a tag as opposed to a postcard. Um, I will be back on Sunday with ideas for the next um, item on the swap, which is artist trading cards. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as always, I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you did because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below and as I say if anybody has got any recommendations for a good white stamp pad then please 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 let me know anyway take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now